the second largest political party in South Africa's National Assembly, the Democratic Alliance was formed in the year 2000. It has struggled to unseat the ANC for the number one spot in the National Assembly but has clung to the second position in Parliament. Despite its formation 23 years ago, its roots can be traced as far back as the 1950s as an opposition to the National Party's apartheid ideology. The official opposition has faced its fair share of challenges throughout the years. In the late 50s, when it was still called the United Party, some of its unhappy members broke rank and went to form the Progressive Party. The Progressive Party slowly rose to prominence in the 70s after it merged with some members of the disintegrated United Party. It became known as the Progressive Reform Party and then later Progressive Federal Party. The party has been led amongst others by Helen Suzman, Zach de Beer, and Colin England, just to mention a few. During the first democratic elections, it fared poorly as the ANC won the elections with a whooping majority under the world-renowned Nelson Mandela. Years later, it would also establish itself as the main opposition under the leadership of Tony Leon. Poor people might be poor, but poor people are not stupid. Poor people know what's in their interests, and we in the Democratic Alliance have got the policies and the people and the commitments to make sure that we can have realities on the ground which help the poorest. It took voters from the new National Party, formerly known as the National Party. Viva Tony Leon Viva! Viva leader Tony Viva! It became kingmakers after the collaboration with the new National Party in the Western Cape. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Fast forward to the year 2000, the Democratic Party, New National Party and the Federal Alliance became one, but that merger did not last long, with both NNP and FA leaving the DP. The DP was disbanded after the early 2000 floor crossing period and the establishment of the Democratic Alliance was entrenched at all levels of government. And I am not stepping down as your leader because I have lost hope. I am stepping down because I have done what I set out to do. Once the executive mayor of Cape Town, Helen Zille succeeded Tony Leon as the DA leader in May 2007. I have great pleasure in announcing that the new leader of the Democratic Alliance is Helen Zilla. In 2007, the DA was relaunched not just as an opposition party, but also as an alternative government under Helen Zilla. Zilla was also re-elected and opposed in 2010 and 2012. But the DA made a landmark achievement when it elected Musi Maimani as the first black leader in 2015. And under his watch during the 2016 local government elections, the party made history when it snatched three metros from the ANC. The focus then turned to the 2019 general elections as the election of the party's first black leader was expected to bolster its support across racial lines. However, the DA recorded a decline in electoral support in 2019. My money's stay was short-lived. It is with great sadness that in order to continue this fight for the vision I strongly believe and the country I so dearly love, I will today step down as leader of the DA. He resigned from the position four years later and was replaced by John Steinhazen as an interim leader. Maimani's exit would prove to be a catalyst that would see the exodus of other black leaders. This led to the official opposition being branded as anti-black in some quarters. Herman Mashaba made his exit in 2019. He was followed by former Midval Mayor Bongani Baloi, former DAMP Pumzile Fandem, Balin Tuli, Makashule Ghana, Funzungu Beni just to mention a few. In 2020, John Steinhazen formally assumed the position as the leader of the party after beating Balin Tuli, who managed to gather around 20% of the vote. Colleagues, friends, Democrats, 
The party will now hold its elective congress this weekend. Joining the leadership race is former Johannesburg Mayor Popalaze. Only the DA will get things done. She's currently going head to head with John Steenhazen. I wouldn't be standing if, if, I, if I didn't believe that. This weekend, DA members will decide whether the party will be led by an African woman or the incumbent who has raised his hand for a second term will emerge victorious as the election of the seventh administration looms closer. Ntlantla Khatlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.